Hello, I'm Zach Portfield. I'm Becky Nelson. And I'm Lauren Alcott. In what way does your media product use, develop, or challenge forms and conventions of real media products? Lauren, what do you think? Um, like we use dolls as other, you know, like other horror films do. Such as? The Conjuring and Chucky. Mm -hmm. I personally thought it reminded me of the opening of The Woman in Black from Where the Small Children. I also thought it reminded me, um, at, the, at the end of it, we have Dark Lighting, which is very similar to The Conjuring. It fits in with the horror genre. It does. It doesn't uh, break any codes of conventions. It uh, goes along with them. What did you think about the music? Um, we use scary music, such as children's nursery rhymes. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was very much like The Woman in Black, yeah. which is kind of that and The Conjuring. Right. basically based Mind them films. around, yeah. Um, what did you think of the editing? Um, it kind of gave off a lot of effect, because you were seeing about what happened in the past, and it gave you a bit of a background to the whole of the film. Mm -hmm. I, mm -hmm. I personally thought it, worked, thought it worked really well. Yeah, yeah. Um, what did you think of the camera movements? Um, I thought the low angle shot of the doll was uh, very good and it kind of again went along with the codes and conventions. Yeah, we used a lot of handheld shots as well, didn't we? Yeah. Point of view shots. Point of view I thought were really effective. And <laughs> um, challenging conventions, um, I think the use of a school as a location probably did that because you know there's not many horror films where you know you see them in a school. As well as at home. Yeah, exactly. To cut set. between the two scenes as well Best as uh, Best of Both Worlds. Um, how does your media product represent particular social groups? For the age, we had dark characters that were quite young, but they were acting quite mature and old. Mm -hmm. The gender was male, um, and it represented it represented them because men were usually scared of dolls, but in this case they were, and um, it just kind of shows that men in situations like that will, aren't always as tough as you think they are. Um, but also we had this. Um, we had the character of Reese, who played the like psychiatrist almost, and he had he was in control, and he didn't seem to be afraid of anything. And white, and uh, we don't really live in a very ethnic diverse area, so there wasn't many black people, or there was no black people in our film. But <laughs> I wouldn't stop. I don't think it would stop black people from watching the film or not appeal to them because I think it's a film for anyone, but definitely for younger people. Conventional to have younger males as the lead, because usually it's the women talking about their experiences. Yeah. Question three. What kind of media institution might distribute your media products and why? It's Paramount because they were very famously made Paranormal Activity which and started off as a very low budget film. Uh, I think it only cost $15,000 to make and ended up making something like $200 million. $200 million on uh, the box office. Um, so they have the financial backing with them as well and they've made lots of other films in the horror category. Um, Warner Brothers have made films like The Conjuring, um, they're very successful and make a lot of money. Who would be the audience for your media project? Um, teenagers, it on them. Yeah, teenagers because it's based on them and for them to watch. Mm -hmm. Definitely, I think uh, when you've got a young cast like we did, I think it'd be a bit odd if old people were watching a young cast. I think it's more relatable as well. If yeah, I think, I think everyone can relate to it as it's set in a school as well. Mm -hmm. Um, how did you attract slash address your audience? Um, we made it end on a cliffhanger so that. So that. It gets bit, well, we made it end on a cliffhanger because that leaves people intrigued and they won't just switch off after the first two minutes. Um, it, it hooks the audience, which is what we've been taught about. And uh, I think the way we'd attract everyone to come watch it is uh, made lots of television adverts, maybe adverts before YouTube uh, videos. Um, adverts from things like Facebook and Twitter, um, you know, advertising hoardings on the sides, you know, things just even posters in bus shelters, things like that. Question six: What have you learnt about technologies from the process of constructing this product? We learnt how to use the HD cameras for filming and Adobe Premiere for the video editing. We also um, learnt how to use real uh, blog spots, which was something I wasn't aware of before. Uh, we started the course, but it's actually uh, really interesting and it's helped us kind of like a diary of us track what we've been doing. Uh, I think 
we've been properly taught how to use like all of the editing software, like been shown loads of things you could do to actually use in the film. Question seven. Looking back at your preliminary task, what do you feel you have learned in the progression from it to the full product? Um, I think from the preliminary tasks, we were in uh, working as a group. I think we've all improved. Yeah, cooperating more, um, putting in more effort. I think the preliminary tasks, certain people have been pulled away. No. Um, I think I know for me definitely, it's uh, it's improved. I think the group, being allowed to choose our own groups, yeah. definitely helped. Um, Operating the cameras it's mm. got a lot easier. Mm. It was yeah, it was a bit of a challenge at first. I remember the first day we went out filming. Um, we really kind of struggled yeah. with camera angles, but the more we had to get used to the cameras, the more it worked. Yeah, the more camera angles we learned, the more we used. Mm -hmm. um, the filming sequences and thinking about match and action and 180 degree rule, I don't think we ever broke the 180 degree no. rule, yeah. which was, uh, you know, was something we tried really hard not to do. And match and action, there wasn't really much time. We didn't use that, I don't it think. Wasn't only in the horror but yeah, I don't film. think there would have been any, uh, I don't think it would have been effective if we had used it. And the knowledge that we learnt in our theory lessons, we applied to the major production, um, purely in camera shots, camera angles, um, yeah, class, g uh, gender, ethnicity. ethnicity, sexuality, all, all, the, subcultures. all the subcultures that we uh, learnt about. And we just, yeah, Really did it well, so uh, hope you enjoy the film.